welcome to Richmond Vale Colliery. Tonight we have been allowed access onto the property of what was one of the largest mines of its time to further our search into the existence of the paranormal. Operating from 1912 to 1967, the mine has claimed 60 to 70 deaths during those years, making this site an ideal location to continue our search for answers. A place full of history, being the deepest colliery in the Southern Hemisphere during its time, and still holding the world record for the amount of coal hand-hewn and brought to the surface in a single shaft mine. After being left shocked and in almost complete disbelief from my last investigation, I come here with only more questions. Will I have as much activity as I did at Fort Wallace? Was everything that happened in those tunnels just coincidence? Or will tonight truly prove the existence of the paranormal? What's up everyone? Welcome back to 85 The Ride. We are here at Richmond Vale Colliery. Massive shout out to Graham and the rest of the crew uh, for giving me permission to come in here and film for the night. Um, I believe I'm the second person to do a ghost investigation in here, so very honoured for that opportunity. Unfortunately, we don't have complete access to this place. Due to the council in Australia, they've stopped a lot of access down into like the mines and a lot of the older structures and things, but we do have access to the complete administration building uh, both upstairs and downstairs again unfortunately no access into the underground part of this building where they keep all their records and things like that just due to mold there's a lot of mold down there um, that's again unfortunately taken over right all right guys sun's going down so let's go inside and have a look at some of these uh, investigation tools give you guys a little bit of a rundown right guys so we have two emf readers um, one for a spare, just in case uh, something happens. The idea behind the EMF is it will spike to red if there's a spirit nearby. Last paranormal investigation, I had this thing going off on command. Um, it was just staying on red, probably the most I've ever seen an EMF go off in my entire life. So that was some pretty amazing footage. Whether or not it works tonight, I don't know. Secondly, we have cat balls. I've got four of these cat balls. The idea behind the cat balls is they flash when they've been touched. It takes a fair bit of a touch to get these things to light up, so I've never had one of these go off before, but I'm hoping tonight will be that night. Lastly, we have the dowsing rods. I love the dowsing rods. Um, again, last investigation, I had these things absolutely swinging. The idea behind the dowsing rods is you ask a question, open the rods for yes, close the rods for no, and if you are communicating with a spirit, um, they move on their own. I'm hoping I get these things to work again tonight, if there is a spirit in here, but again, I guess we'll find out. I'll tell you what guys, I'm actually a little extra scared just because of how well that last investigation went. Obviously with that push, I'm never going back to Fort Wallace ever again. But again, even because I've been through that now, I'm, uh, this place is giving me goosebumps. It's definitely uh, got the fear going up me a little bit more than when I originally did my first ghost hunt. Let's get some of these lights. Gotta find all the light switches actually. Well, <laughs> okay, this place gets pretty dark when the lights are out. I mean, obviously, but uh, yikes. Well, there's not many lights left. Where I've yet to be, whilst we can still see it, is up this creepy staircase. Two flights of stairs to get up to the top level because this building's so big. So I can't wait for that. Right. I think we kill these outdoor lights. Start having a bit more of a deeper wander around. Damn, I just felt a cold breeze down the back of my neck actually. As soon as I flip that light out, that's weird. So I believe this is the last light on that's in here. And that'll be it. Here we are. In the complete dark. And that was a little moth that flew by. For those of you that don't know or haven't watched my videos before, I'm absolutely petrified of moths. So it's like the scariest thing that could be um, lurking around in here. Wow. 
why the hell do we have that in here? Absolutely nothing on the EMF, so I'm going to assume that that thing is not haunted, thank God. Just because the hazmat's scary in itself. Now, I kind of want to do a full sweep of this bottom floor before we head upstairs. So I don't know if some of this old equipment or anything will give us any form of sign. There's so much of this old stuff in here. One of the biggest bummers to me is the fact that I can't go down into the cellar. But in saying that, it also looks extremely scary down there. How far can we see down there? So creepy. And then you've got this little mannequin bit, part of a mannequin. Glad you got nothing going on, mate. This one gets anything. The old manager, Tiger Lightfoot. Athel? I'm not sure how you say that. Tiger Lightfoot? Are you in here, Tiger? God, could you imagine if we had access to some of these old tunnels? Like they're obviously super unsafe now, but some of these sort of like, this must be like your entrance. You can see it's all reinforced brickwork and stuff. I wonder how much of that still stands. I would love the opportunity one day to hopefully come back. Who knows, maybe they might open it up someday and I can come back and investigate in there, man. I'd do it. I'd absolutely shit myself. Uh, but it's all part of the, all part and parcel of the experience. I'd still give it a go. There'd be so much stuff I'd imagine left down there. Can you get some activity? Just smells old in here. It's got the oldest smell. I mean, <laughs> look at what's in here, but dating right back to the 1928. That's wild. Not getting anything, so what I'll do. So I'll put down some cat balls. So I really want to see some activity from them. As I said before, I've never had um, a cat ball go off on me during the investigation, so. Put one in the doorway like that. Put one in this chair. Put one in the middle of the floor down here. So we go upstairs. Man, I had brand new batteries in that. I have to go back for it. If this is the same old case of something draining my power and I don't get any uh, activity back, I'm gonna be a little upset. Because I deserve footage for that. All right, I've got the old torch. If there is something here and you can hear me, please don't take all of my battery power I do need light to see. Oh wow, these are some pretty flogged out stairs. Now, I've never been up here, ever. Ooh, it's creaky. Creaky and creepy. Oh man, okay, that's freaky. Very creaky up here. Man, these are some big hallways. Oh, oh far out. Damn, fucking mannequin. Well, that's a, oh, that's, that scared the living shit out of me then. Oh my God, why? The old rooms of mine is used to stay in. Well, that's just the definition of scary right there. What, what's what they do? Yeah, they work, kinda, in a creepy way. They work in a creepy way. All right, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's look in this first room which looks to be nothing but storage. Let's crack out this EMF. Wound dressing. Hey, look at these old books. Oxy Weldon, huh? So I'm a boiler maker by trade. Oxy Weldon's a little, um, a little old school. Oh yeah, okay, okay. Wow. Old metallurgy books, wow. 
welding procedures and things. Man, there is some history in this place. Oh, let's get this EMF going. These books are like falling apart. A diary from 1957. You get any readings off any of this stuff? Come on. Wow, look at this lantern. Old school miner's lantern. I love this old stuff, eh? This has gone from ghost hunt to just... <laughs> This is immediately very creepy. We got a mirror. Is there anyone here that would like to communicate with me? This is your opportunity. After all these years. Oh, yum, look at that. Can I have a feed whilst we're in? Anyone want to share some cashews with me? This is your opportunity. Speak with someone. Oh. Oh. If you make this device spike, I will come back up with my dowsing rods and I can ask you some questions. No way. I really didn't think I was going to get it. Oh. Keep making this device spike. Why is that? They're like shutter doors. That is such a strange setup. Oh. This is strange up here. It's like someone's been living here. Has someone lived here? We got an old Christmas tree. Maybe I should have um, asked if I could stay the night. Wow. Man, this is a massive room. I had no idea all this was here. Little old trophies. First place. Little shutter door things. I'd like to see what that was originally designed for because I'm not too sure. That is a huge pain. I'm gonna have to go downstairs soon anyway because I need to change the batteries on this GoPro. These cat balls aren't doing anything. Oh. There we go, the light of my torch came back on. That is so random. Oh, and now it's not working again. Are you serious? Oh, I heard something. I'm gonna turn the light back on. Change his battery over. Okay, so I've just changed the batteries over. I've been hearing stuff. I've been hearing heaps of stuff. We've got the dowsing rods, so we're gonna go back upstairs. Once I said that, that EMF spiked. Also put a cat ball down on the floor there. If you want me to have a conversation with you in this room, make the EMF spike again. Now these are called dowsing rods. I'm going to ask a couple questions and I want you to open the rods for yes and close the rods for no. Is there a spirit with me in this building? Again, open the rods for yes and close the rods for no. Is there a spirit with me in this room? That EMF's flashing again. Is there a spirit or entity in this room? Cross the rods for yes, open the rods for, for no. Okay. Am I alone in this building? Open the rods for yes, cross the rods for no. Did you die here in these mines? Cross the rods for yes. 
open the rods for no. Man, I'm getting the biggest goosebumps now. Cold chills and everything. Are you the old manager tiger? Cross the rods for yes. Open the rods for no. That's a slow open, but okay. I'll ask again. Are you the old manager tiger? Whose ashes are currently downstairs? Cross the rods for yes. Open the rods for no. Always gets me going, eh? Like, whew. what? All right, so you're not the old manager. Were you just a worker here? Cross the rods for yes. Open the rods for no. Man, I'm hearing so many noises. Did you die while working here in some accident? Cross the rods for yes. Open the rods for no. Man, that's wild. Are you the one they've seen walking the grounds in the early hours of the morning? Cross the rods for yes. Open the rods for no. Huh. Are you a friendly spirit or entity? Cross the rods for yes. Open the rods for no, yeah. I feel that. This place is um, freaky but everything here feels safe to me. I think, again, after um, Fort Wallace, it's just like, like, it felt different. When things got cold, things got bad, like, you just had a completely different feeling down there to what I have in here. It's similar, but I think Fort Wallace definitely had an evil presence. Are you happy to have someone here doing an investigation and wandering around and someone that you can communicate with? Open the rods for yes, cross the rods for no. I keep hearing a lot of noise downstairs. I'm just gonna go back down. Again, it's the noises that I can hear coming from down there that are just tripping me out because when I was down there, I didn't hear a thing. I heard very little. saw something in that hole in the wall peeking from the other room. I'd be out of here if I was saying that. All right, well, thank you for communicating with me in this room. It's much appreciated. I'll grab our cat ball, which didn't go off. Oh, oh, you're making the EMF spike. Is that because I'm heading back into um, the office? Oh, wow, okay. So you did want me to come back into the office. Thank you for uh, making the EMF spike. I'll hear you loud and clear. Um, I'll get the dowsing rods out and we can have a conversation in here. All set up, ready for me to use the dows and rods. Looks creepy as. Okay guys, so quick update. I just had the GoPro, both GoPros overheat. A couple of the lights and stuff switch off. I heard a bunch of noises um, whilst I was waiting for the GoPros to cool down. Um, so I went out and shut the front door, closed a couple of the doors around here just to make sure that they're not the things making all the noises that I keep hearing, but the noises are definitely like picking up. <laughs> So let's continue this and man, I'm still hearing noises. It's completely quiet here and okay. <clears throat> so I believe Tiger Lightfoot's ashes are up there in that urn. I'm currently sitting in your chair, mate. I hear you're the youngest operating mine manager in history. If you're here with me. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but that EMF is flashing orange. If you're here with me, can you make these rods cross? Okay, awesome. 
I've currently got a couple cat balls set up around the room as well, one on top of your urn. I'm yet to have a cat ball go off during an investigation. You can make these rods move and you can make the EMF light up. So can you make a cat ball light up as well? Just want to confirm, is it Tiger that I'm speaking to currently? Cross the rods for yes. Open the rods for no. This place has light activity. There's stuff going on, but I just can't. Is there a spirit with me currently in this room? Cross the rods for yes. Open the rods for no. Are you the same spirit that I was talking to upstairs? Cross the rods for yes. Open the rods for no. Alright, so I don't know if it's the manager we're actually speaking to or not. I don't think it is. Open the rods if you are the spirit that wanders these grounds in the early hours of the morning. Oh, that just sparked the red as well. I'm hearing something almost directly above me, almost like footsteps. Do you want me to go back upstairs? I want to go back upstairs. Open the rods for yes. Cross the rods for no. Well, why did you tell me to come down here then? Are you playing games with me, making me go up and down the stairs and mucking around with me? Cross the rods for yes. Open. <laughs> what? God, these things spin me out. Oh my God. One more time. Do you want me to go back upstairs? Open the rods for yes. Cross the rods for no. What? Okay, I'm above the office. If you want me to have a conversation with you up here, make the EMF light up again. God, that door creeps me out. Why in the hell would you have that? Someone comment what these were used for back in the day or what this may have been used for. Very creepy. Whatever's in here might be playing games. In here is where we had all the um, action before. Do you want... Did I leave that mirror there? I could have sworn that mirror was... Um... Hold on a sec. I'm gonna have to look back through the um, footage. Oh, am I flashing again? Oh, and my torch is flashing. Whoa, that has to be coming up. At least the torch. Is there something to do with that mirror? Is that what I heard? The mirror slide. God, it just got cold. Something about this room, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you move this mirror? Make the EMF flash to red if you moved this mirror. I'm getting little flashes. Wow, oh my God. I want you to make the EMF go to red. Is this your mirror? Was this your mirror? You've made it move, that's really impressive, but I wanna see more. Prove to me that you're here. Make the EMF spike all the way to red. Oh, the chills. Ugh. Whoa, 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 whoa. God. Oh. Oh. Oh, I just felt the biggest breath on the back of my neck. Hold up. Oh. Oh. God, that scared the f I have goosebumps like crazy. Ooh. Okay, that's a first for me. Please don't touch me or anything. I'm freaking out and I really, I've had that before and I don't want it again. A breath is enough, okay? I believe you, you hear all the things. Don't do that again, please. Mirror's back on the table, it's your mirror. I'm sorry. I was just trying to get some uh, footage. All right, sorry guys, that's that that freaked me out. That was way too much of a um, 
way too much of a breath. Whew. Has done it for up here, I believe. I think that will do us. That room has definitely got it going on. All right, well, there we go. That's, that's all the proof I need. <laughs> like, honestly, oh my God. All right, so I definitely think there's like something going on here. That got me. I think I'm a lot more on edge too because like I've said, oh, the light is on, you're kidding. That's the second time I should have left a camera set up. You are messing with me. Oh, and I turned this one off too. Did I turn that one off too? Either way, this is on. You're kidding. All right, let's see if I can do it. Faint. What is going on? So now it barely works. Wow. I'm almost not sure what to do next. <laughs> I really think you're playing games with me, which, I mean, I was kind of playing games back. I hope you're a friendly spirit. I'm a pretty friendly person. So, you know, if you're one of the locals, I'm local too, so. If you're one of these blokes that were, there goes the torch again, flickering like crazy. See, it's never, I've never had the torch do this, go bright and then dull. But I've heard a lot of people say that that is a uh, sign of a spirit. So maybe that's why this one was so dull when I turned it back on even. Oh, back to bright. There we go. It's working again. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I acknowledge you met some with me, which is fine. We can play some games, you know, that's totally fine. Now I know we are actually short on time. So you have to remember I'm on a time limit here. If it's one favor that you could do is make one of these cat balls go off. Oh, that's strange. I only just noticed. I'm not sure if that'll come up in the um, in the footage, but there is a small handprint. That it had like a child's handprint. Yeah, that could be a child, but it just, yeah, that looks freaky as. Ugh, kind of wish I didn't notice that one. Shaft signals, different knocks. One knock to go in. Ooh, what was that? So look, one knock to go in. Jesus Christ. God, that light's playing on. Would you like me to try some knocks? I mean, one knock to go in. I mean, let's just, let's just start with one knock, shall we? Guys, again, GoPro overheated. So I'm on to... The other GoPro, which has its own light on top. Now that this one's cooled down, we've got a little bit more light than what we did before, which is always a good thing. Oh my god. I forgot that was there. Well, it looks like I'm the only one that's able to uh, make a cat ball go off. See it light up? This is all I want. Touch it. Make it light up. What about above the bell? I just want to see something light up a cat ball. I'm almost tempted to go upstairs and knock or something. That seems to be where it's at, upstairs. It's so fucking, that, that breath has made me not want to go back up there again. I'm, I'm sooking it. how that's still spiking the red. I'm gonna leave that just like that. Just so everyone is aware. What it's leaning on is the GoPro that overheated. It still won't turn back on because it's still overheated. So it's all off, everything's off, and that's currently hitting red. Seem to really like this spot. Pull my hood up. I really don't want you breathing on the back of my neck again because that felt crap. Okay, was that you that moved the mirror? Open the rods for yes, cross the rods for no. I hope you guys can see that my hands aren't moving. God, that freaks me out. It's such a thrill to do that. 
scares the crap out of me, but man, these things are dead set swinging on their own. Oh, that's flashing, that's flashing. Was that you above me in the other room? Knocking when I was knocking. Cross the rods for yes. Open the rods for no. Look at that EMF going off. Yeah, I'm not going back upstairs though. <laughs> you might want me to go upstairs, but I'm not, I'm not going back up there. Were you right behind me and breathed on my neck whilst I was upstairs? Open the rods for yes. Just feeling. Uh, this is cool. This is like really on top of Fort Wallace, just giving me even more motivation to get get more devices and just really suss this out. Hold up. Ugh. I'm seeing shit, eh? <laughs> this looks like a like a fog or something in the light. Did you move the mirror that was upstairs? Cross the rods for yes. Pfft, went swinging that time. Oh, light's flickering. Oh. Are you flickering that light right now? Oh, come on. Oh. I haven't had lights flicker like that before. What's even crazier is that's the light that was turning off and on before and that is what has been my good light tonight and now that's flickering. Man, you're doing a really good job on messing with all my devices and communicating and all the things but I'm almost finished here and I really want you to set off a cat ball before I go. You don't always get what you want. Have you enjoyed communicating and messing with me tonight? Cross the rods for yes. Open the rods for now. Do you need anything from me? Do you need help with the situation that you're in? Cross the rods for yes. Open the rods for no. Well, that's good. I've got something different that I've just thought of. Point to the direction that you are. Ooh. Point to the direction in the room that you currently are. It's over there, right next to me or behind me or what? So you're standing to the right of me, huh? Do you wanna just point there just one more time, just really to affirm that, oh my God. <laughs> and you're definitely not that earned, you reckon? That's that direction. All right, it's time that I wrap this up. Thank you for communicating with me. Just for the fun of it, just make the cat ball go off for me real quick before I pack up everything. Just maybe a quick cat ball. No. All right. All good. No cat ball. I'm not even sure what to say. This is the most wild experience to come into a place like this and have this sort of stuff go down. It's just absolutely unreal. Alrighty guys, thanks so much for watching the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm really enjoying these ghost hunts. I've got another one coming next month at another location once again. Keep an eye out for that because there's going to be a few extra special... Man, I'm still hearing noises. <laughs> There's going to be a few extra special things going on for that video, um, right down to even special guests. So I'm not going to tell who that is. I'm sure you guys can almost guess, but um, really appreciating all the support lately, guys. Uh, make sure you jump onto our merch store. Um, we've got plenty of stuff in there for summer, winter, all the things. We ship worldwide, so should have everyone covered. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment, all the things. It helps out the videos so much in the algorithm. Um, and as always, it's greatly appreciated. So again, guys, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.